Anyway, that's uh, that's the time to time to start the announcement. So to recap, obviously we we had a situation with the channel arise around when I was getting near a thousand. I mean, I'm still about I don't know seventy ish away from a thousand subscribers, which is at the point where the videos themselves could be monetized. I had four memberships around this time, one of which had canceled and shortly before I found out this guy. This started to happen with this uh, notification that YouTube sent me you're looking at. Uh, in the accusation being that I'm, of course, like I've said already, taking content from other channels and just posting it verbatim, right, on my channel, and that's what I'm doing. And that's not something they allow to be monetized. Uh, but I'm not doing that, so obviously confused about it. I, you know, appealed. Um, and then I immediately had the runaround on the appeal process because when you go to um, their uh, appeal section, and I can show you what happens here, because I had seen documents to tell you what to do, but you hit start appeal right here. Okay, and then this pops up, and then you fill out this information, okay, and then you look at the instructions, and it says, Form a load on the page. Use this to write your appeal. That's what it says. Tell us how your channel doesn't violate the, you know, the feedback above. Add links to your videos. After you submit appeal, you get an update about the status. So this is a step I did because there was no. It said nothing about putting a video there, a version of your appeal. So I send this to them, and then they they reply to it, and, and they reiterate what I already know, and then they tell me that I have to um. I have to submit a video appeal. So I do that and then it's ignored for two or two or three people until I finally get them to acknowledge that I sent it. And then I get a reply back, like of course last night, as we know now, telling me basically that um and I will say, like I said, the, the people that finally got it on track apparently were pretty nice, but saying that the higher ups looked at it. A specialist or whatever they call them and um they're upholding the decision so then i go to my my channel to see if they even viewed the video and it's just got the one view that i did on it to test the video out to see if it was correct or i needed to redo it so that's that's basically well the entire thing and like i said completely frustrating experience um all around uh, there, there is a, um, there's another place here you can, you can look at the policies thing and it, like, right there and then it'll, it'll have another thing that talks about making a video option, but as you can see, there's no option here on this form to start with, so, I don't know if they make it intentionally confusing. Anyway, so, as a result of all this, I started thinking about last night, what could be viewed as reused content on the channel, because, from my perspective, I'm not doing anything that belongs to someone else. Um, like entirely, like, because there is a certain element of transformation that I'm doing on each thing I've done. The live streams where I play games, I'm doing commentary, and how already talked about how I compiled the main content. So, the only thing that comes to mind and is that I did some collaborations um, on my channel. Uh, one with Ali and one with Layla so far. And Layla did not post, I don't think so anyway, a version of my uh, collab with her on her channel, but Ali did on hers. And then Ali went ahead and made s several variations of it. Now, I, this might be a stretch, but someone else brought this up to me, but that could be what they're talking about. They could be seeing that on another channel. And for some reason, even though I only posted it once on mine, it's looking like to their system that uh, that I'm copying someone else's uh, material. So in thinking about that being part of the problem, what I thought about doing is removing th that video from my channel, which is the serum one. Um, I thought about maybe the live stream is being a problem, but I, it's kind of a stretch too. The Zelda live streams with the video game footage, but I know I did get some 
false uh, content ID claims on on that because of the music playing during the temple scenes on or whenever you go to one of the palaces there's that music that plays and then someone uh it's coming up with a content match on a cover version they did that they put lyrics to that like they took the video game music and sung lyrics to it and they don't own the original copyright and as far as i know uh if you're allowed to stream video games without getting hit with not being able to monetize them because i see streamers do that all the time so but I might end up taking those streams and getting rid of them um, to get rid of that problem. And then um, there's one other video on here, um, version 6 of Past Altering, that I have to consider getting off the channel too because that was uh, something I shared with Ali as well. And then she posted several versions of that on her own. At least the affirmations layer that was silent was shared. Um, but the mix should be different because she did different uh, versions of it, so Anyway, so that's what I'm thinking. I'm going to do bare minimum My aim is to take the existing channel and try to get it monetized But I'm understanding that maybe this just isn't something that can be done, but those are the only things that I think That would be something they're looking at and then beyond that, we're going into even deeper of a stretch. They're taking, they're thinking that my self-created tones and noise patterns are an issue, or they're looking at my thumbnails that I use from AI, and that's an issue. I just, I don't know though. That that seems like an even bigger stretch than what I was already talking about. And of course, they're not really telling me specifically what they're seeing. The last person I talked to in the latest update said they will send me some examples, but we'll wait on that. Um, but I figured I'll take a few steps that I can take right now myself. Um, and maybe maybe I won't do them immediately right now because if he if they're gonna review them, I'd like them to give them give them a chance to get back to me and, and give me examples. So if I delete them um, and they were what they were talking about, then that would be grounds for something probably on their ends. I don't want to give them an excuse. I want to have the conversation closed. So that's the main thing, and but beyond this, I'm thinking, you know, eventually there's going to need to be a second channel involved in this process anyway. Because either this channel is going to get monetized because I fix a few things, or it's not. And if it's not, I don't want to be making wholesale changes on the channel to get rid of the content that's already here, because this is where people have gone to get it initially. Uh, even doing new... Um, style of video is where I do more narration and stuff, which is the more friendly version of how YouTube wants it done. I could start doing that here, but then that, if I, if my goal is to have two channels anyway, where I'm keeping the subliminals on one of the channels, why not keep it where they're already at? You know, as it would keep that as an option. If I start removing things from here and removing watch hours and, and we're having to re-upload things. It's more work. So I started thinking last night that maybe the second channel should be grown from scratch in a sense. It works is where I would need a lot of people's help. I would need everyone who is already subscribed to me to resubscribe to my second channel. And that would probably be where I would put the new style content to announce the videos that are going on this channel. And that's the way that I, I'm thinking I'm going to handle it pending resubmission to um, monetization of the subliminal channel. Because I can't do that for three months anyway, according to what they were saying. There, it's a final decision. So I think that's the uh, best option. But if I go through what I want to do, I, I don't want to go through the effort of making uh, a second channel. I didn't want to to start with, but if, you know, if I'm going to do it, let's make it more of an announcement and commentary channel where I can even host the live streams, you know, so I can keep them separate from here. Uh, you know, but as long as they're not like um, video game content live streams, because apparently that could be an issue from what I'm thinking. Uh, then maybe, maybe that could be an option to you to get that channel grown. And I would hope that people would actually watch that channel too, to get the announcement on future content before it's posted on this, the main channel. Uh, and then if that can get in enough subscribers and watch hours, then that could be the monetized channel and then I can keep the subliminal channel as it is. 
I'm thinking, I was thinking that was the best game plan. Uh, I hope that it's um, a likable solution to everyone out there. But I, if I'm going to go that way, like I said, I might need everyone's help. Everyone who's already subscribed to me needs to subscribe to the second channel. I haven't created it yet. I might I might do that today and post something about it on the community, but it's it, they'll be coming down the line regardless. So look out for it. Um, uh, there's another couple things I might be doing with the main channel. Um, cosmetically. I might not touch it right now. Like I said, I'll wait for the review process to completely be done after this final part. This so they can give me some examples, but channel art might change my profile. Um, I was thinking of using the uh, like the cartoon avatars that I created on AI as part of the imagery and maybe redesign my logo. I mean, that, it's been the same since I've had the channel. It's probably time to update it anyway. It could, and then there's my channel description that I could write some more detail in if it will let me fit it. But yeah, that's pretty much it.